Okay, in this video we're going to look at the magnetic field lines of a solid and current loop again and see how they interact. So remember this is a solenoid in three dimensions and the really important part I want you to see here is that here when it's kind of coming out of the solenoid the field lines aren't straight, they're curved. And you see they're curving away, they're curving out. And that's just something I want to emphasize. You can see it curving out. And we can look at a uh, single current loop and you can see the same effect. Right? And you see that the, the lines are going out and away and they're not straight. And that's going to be really important for us moving forward. You can see them curving away there. How about these guys? Nope, not that. Here we go. And here's just two current loops stacked on top of each other, like a baby solenoid. And again, you can just see that the field lines are curved as they come out. Curved. Okay. So, remember that. Okay, here's my bad picture version of what you just saw. And there's a lot of things going on here, so just work with me here. So let's look at this first current loop here. And the current, you can see, is flowing this way. It's coming out of the page here and into the page there. Right hand rule it, and you'll see that um, it'll produce field lines like this in blue. And again, we can remember the convention that we learned from last video, that this would then be the north side, and this would be the south side because the arrows are going to go this way the whole way through. Okay, now let's say that there's another current loop that happens to be in the first current loop's magnetic field and the current's going the same direction, right? And I just drew two magnetic field lines so you would get the point. And these red ones represent the magnetic field lines coming from the second current loop. And again, make sure you can right hand rule that and you see that again, this side is north this side is south. Okay, and so I've drawn these so that you can see the magnetic field that this first current loop produces as it hits the second current loop. Right, and you see that they're curved lines, what I was showing you before. And that this curved lines, the magnetic field is kind of going diagonal up, I guess we can call it. And at that point where it hit, the current from this current loop is coming towards us. And now we have a current and a magnetic field at a point, so we can right hand rule it and find the force. And if you do that with me now, current, we can see that it's kind of going, the force will be kind of towards the first one and up at the same time. So make sure you see that. Likewise, down here, the magnetic field that this first one produces will be going kind of diagonal down. And here the current is going into the page. And you'll see that the force is kind of going towards the first one and down. You can do the same thing from the magnetic field of this current loop on this current loop. That's why I just drew these two ones, to show the magnetic field at this point. And you'll see it'll actually be the exact same thing. So uh, current's going in, magnetic field's um, here. Current is going in, magnetic field is kind of like diagonally. <laughs> up so the force will go down and towards and up here it's coming towards you and the magnetic field is going kind of diagonal down so the force will be going up and towards you and this is true for all points along the current loops remember this is just one this is like we a two-dimensional slice at these two points but it's true the whole way around what you'll see is that the, the force um, here up here it's pulling it kind of up and here it's pulling it down and those two will actually cancel out but they're both pulling it this way so those will add up likewise here this one's pulling up this one's pulling down the up and down will cancel out but they're both pulling to the right and if you look at this picture what you'll see is then what you get is a net force just straight towards each other so they're attracting and if you want to look at it from the pole point of view you could name this side north and this side south and this side south and this side north and look when you have that arrangement, they attract. And this is where the phrase north and south attract come from, and north and north repel. And I've shown you that in this picture down here that you can, you can look at at your leisure. But this is actually why that's true.